Somebody punched me in the face or something. Uh, uh, I, I, I can see lights uh, as well as a person. Um, uh, hello, friend, are you? Uh, oh my God! What the hell are you doing to me? Uh, uh, I feel so weak and drugged. Uh, why are you restraining me? What's the meaning of? Uh, uh, no uh, we don't have to wake up, huh? but open your eyes. Where the hell am I? What's the matter? Somebody hit you? Uh, the fuck? Here. Are you on? Let me help. Uh, what? What? Uh, uh, get the fuck off me! Uh, you getting these alerts? Uh, kind of busy here. It sounds like real trouble. At the engine, they said Hope made a lateral ascension. Hope will be Hope. You're not happy about it? No. Shit, 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 come on! Billy Hope? Oh my god, is that the morphogenic sequence? Oh my god, not good! Make it stop! <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter. You know what's at stake here, Park? More than anyone else. <sighs> These bastards need to pay. And I'll make them pay. <sighs> there we go. Finally. I write a cryptic message, but it'll do. Now I just need to um, pray that somebody out there will both read it and follow through. <sighs> Most people are going to ignore it, no doubt. They'll think of it as a worthless joke. However, with so many freelance journalists in the world, at least one of them should be bound to show interest. <sighs> Hopefully. Well, it's in their hands now. Not much else I can do from here, except the obvious, of course, to await the course of events until this whole conspiracy blows over. <sighs> yeah, it'll be that simple. Am I right, Lisa? What would you tell me, Lisa? Is this really the correct thing to do? Or am I risking too much, putting my life on the line for people I barely know, most of them insane criminals? Uh, Murkoff will erase my existence if I fuck this up. They've got the money, the power, the influence. They are capable of the cruelest of atrocities. <sighs> yes, the cruelest of atrocities. And that is exactly the reason why I need to stop them. I've made my decision. No turning back. <sighs> Better hurry up and send this. I was supposed to be in the chamber like, I don't know, ten minutes ago. <coughs> oh, shit. Oh, fuck. No, no, no. Send it. Um, one second. I'm just finishing up some work. Almost done. Oh, no, 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 no. 
No, 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 no. Alright. Stay calm. You knew this could fucking happen. Just stay calm. Take deep breaths. That's it. Deep breaths. Yes, 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 yes. Now, slowly approach him. Maintain eye contact and act as if as if this was simply another day at the office. Yes. Just do that and everything will be fine. Okay, one more time. <sighs> yeah. I can do this. I can totally do this. <coughs> but before that yes indeed. Before that Ladies and gentlemen, one and all, mellow greetings, good day, and welcome to the first episode of Let's Play Outlast, the Whistleblower. Yes, indeed, the time has finally come, believe it or not. My very name is the Shadow Cookie, aka Mr. TSC, and today marks the beginning of a new journey into darkness. Together we shall plunge ourselves into the terrifying world of Mount Massive Asylum once again. This is gonna be a long introduction, by the way, so better prepare yourselves. As you can see, we have returned to admire the wretched halls of this cursed, cursed structure. <laughs> Perhaps you remember them. A place of pure evil, gruesome machinations, and illegal experiments. Yes, all wrapped in mystery and utter secrecy. <laughs> But there was one man who tried to raise the veil, who strove to expose the truth to the public. His name was Miles Upshaw, our old protagonist. Oh, poor Miles. <coughs> Poor Miles indeed. <laughs> Unfortunately, he failed. He didn't succeed, no. He died at the hands of a creature that should never have been created. The end, as they say, the end. <laughs> Or is it? As a matter of fact, it isn't. <laughs> a few questions still remain unanswered. The most important one being, why did Miles need to die? I ask you, why did he need to die? <sighs> it it wasn't worth it. Miles Upshur died for nothing, so I crave to receive answers. His death. It didn't really achieve much. Who the hell sent Miles Upshur the email that brought him to Mount Massive Asylum? The email that initiated his slow and painful demise. Hmm. Well, <laughs> well, 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 you just beheld the composition through the author's eyes, didn't you? Its composition, the composition of the email. Indeed, we finally found him. This guy, yes indeed, this guy standing in front of his laptop is the one, the responsible one. He sent Miles Upshur that anonymous email. We finally found him. He is the whistleblower, Mr. Waylon Park, a software engineer, also our new protagonist, who's fed up with Murkov. <laughs> Isn't that delightful? The time has come to experience his story. Will he die in the end, another lost soul, doomed to wander forever? Or could his actions, the actions of the right man in the wrong place, <coughs> the actions of the right man in the wrong place, swallowed my words there, make all the difference in the world. There's only one way to find out. <sighs> I am feeling pretty excited. Therefore, let us get started, shall we? <coughs> 
Before that door, yes indeed, another before that, a word of advice, ladies and gents. In case you haven't figured it out yet, this happens to be a prequel sequel. Yes indeed, we've gone back to the past in order to gain a better understanding of the future. And our last story was quite deep and complex, so I recommend you watch my let's play of the main game first, before this one, otherwise you probably won't be able to grasp even half of what's going on. You have been warned. Now then, without further ado, it begins. The search for enlightenment. Will we discover the fate? of the whistleblower, and how it is connected to that of Miles Upshur? Will we find out what happened to the wall rider after it killed its own maker? Perhaps that security guard over there, around the corner, knows a thing or two? <laughs> Getting back on track, or rather, back into character. <coughs> 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 there we go. Alright, alright, um, sorry about the delay. Had to install some new software. Also, uh, maintain a few of the servers. You know, basic stuff. <laughs> um, oh, uh, it is me, by the way. Yes, you know me, right? Right? I um, can't remember your name, my bad. But you know me. I am Waylon Park, the software engineer. <laughs> remember? By the way, where am I supposed to be? Restricted area, authorized personal only. Ah, uh, yes. Um, uh, I am authorized though. I happen to be authorized. Um, you can see my uh, security clearance card. I sort of forgot it at home. And by at home, I mean I forgot it in my office, but just between between you and me, I am Wayland Park, and you didn't see a thing. All right, you didn't see a thing. I can I can pay you to keep your mouth shut. Uh, is that all right? Uh, okay, listen. I am just gonna approach you. We'll pretend that this whole conversation never happened. All right? Let us start again. <coughs> oh hey, it's me, Wayland Park. Just uh. You know, maintain some of the service, um, you know. Park? They've paged for you three times already. There's something urgent in the engine. Ah, uh, yes. What are you doing in here anyway? I thought you were just a software guy. Huh. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Oh, I thought you were just a software guy. Do you know what we software people need to deal with? <laughs> what we need to deal with on a daily basis, you probably don't even know how to work a computer. You don't know how to fix a server when it breaks down. You don't know how to install complex programs. No, 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 no. You've only got one job to look busy. It is what you are doing right now, isn't it? Yes, you are certainly looking busy. You've got a gun somewhere, I bet. A firearm. You were trained how to use it. That's certainly impressive, but... Besides that, uh, what else? Oh, you can you can intimidate the small people, for sure. But I am not feeling intimidated. I am Waylon Park, and I will always be above you. Uh, so what did you just say to me? They've paged for me three times already. Well, that sounds uh, problematic. Yeah, I'll be on my way then. Just. Uh, you know, you know what I told you earlier, between you and me, just roll with it. <coughs> roll with it and don't tell anybody. Huh. What else do we have in here? Hmm, a radio, some phones, keyboards and boxes, etc, etc. Mm, nothing of interest, just some random storage room. Alright. Wayland Park, employee 1466. Report to Morphogenic Engine Monitoring immediately. Oh, Christ almighty. Uh, they know. Wayland they know. Park, oh. ME monitoring. oh, Jesus Christ, they know. Now everyone knows. Oh, they know that I decided not to show up. Damn. 
Oh, this is this is not good. They'll find out. They'll find out. No, 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 no. <coughs> they won't find out. Just, just do what you told yourself earlier. Act natural. Oh no, not the morphogenic engine chamber. I hate that fucking place. Ah uh, well, I wonder who is in for it today. Maybe that Billy Hope fella. I feared some people talk about. Huh, maybe. Well, whoever it is, soon, soon he'll he'll wish. <laughs> he'll wish that he'd never been born. Yes, he'll be begging for mercy, but he won't receive any mercy. Uh. Oh, my laptop. Oh shit, this isn't good. The email is still on there. Oh, no, 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 I uh, I can't get it now, though. That security guard is still standing there. If he sees me walking out of that room with a laptop, he'll grow suspicious. Well, guess I just need to come back later, after the experiment. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, what have I done? What the hell have I done? I'm worried about losing anti-apoptotics. Hmm. 190 isn't bad. The doctor was predicting assembly by 150. Uh, yes. We're not being given enough information to trust Wernicke's prediction. Wernicke. He's been right so far. I just want to know we're inventing something other than shiny new cancers. <laughs> oh, believe me, you are inventing something special, all right? Cool. You're wailing part, aren't you? Um, yes. Why weren't you answering the page? Um, I'll tell them you're incoming. Okay. You do that. Uh, yeah, I, I wasn't answering the pager because I was busy, alright? I was maintaining the service and... Yeah, soon that story won't work anymore. Listen, I, I was just busy. Can't you see that I am a very busy man? Now, where to go? Uh, in here? Where am I? C block. I don't remember the C block, but I do remember being down here, ladies and gentlemen. Do you remember? This is the top secret Murkov laboratory that Mahasapshur reached at the very end of his journey. I remember feeling so very confused. I remember feeling disgusted due to all the blood and the guts. But look at the place now. In the past. So very clean and full of life. Well, that is going to change very soon, I bet. Now, do I need to walk through here? Yes, I do need to walk through here, I believe. Um, good morning, gentlemen. Uh, you've got something to talk about, it seems. How long has it been since you've seen Jane? Three weeks now? That's nothing. Are you serious? Sure. You got a girlfriend or somebody? I'm married. How long since you've seen her? Honestly, I'm not even sure. <laughs> okay. Honestly, I'm not even sure. When I last saw the woman I'm married to, doesn't that sound weird as all hell? Oh, those crazy scientists. I mean, I've only been down here like um, almost three weeks now, and they haven't allowed me to visit the surface. They haven't allowed me to meet my wife and kids, and I've got a feeling why. Because I know too much. Because I am expendable. But soon, that is going to change. Very soon. I am gonna own this place. Yes, I am gonna own it. That is the theory. <laughs> yes, and hopefully it's gonna work out. Christ, Waylon, hurry up! They're waiting on you! Oh, are they really? Oh, God. I remember this massive gate. I remember standing in front of it, walking through it. Oh, behind this gate is the morphogenic engine chamber, where they manufactured the variants, where they manufactured the wall rider. <laughs> yes, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, in case you couldn't tell, I am switching characters left and right here. Sometimes I am Wayland Park, sometimes I am the Let's Player known as Mr. TSC. Isn't it so very amazing? I don't want to go in there. I don't want to know what this place was like before the incident. I don't want to see people suffer. But I've got no choice. No choice at all. It'll be hours, days, perhaps even weeks before Mahasapshur arrives. I can't wait that long. No, 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 no. I must allow fate to take its course. Alright.
Here we go. Act natural. You are a Murkoff employee. You manipulate people. You experiment on innocent, innocent humans. That is what you do. Uh, oh God, they're gonna fry my ass for being so late. Oh, I am certainly running late. This isn't good at all. Wow. So many people. Um, good morning. Uh, sorry, I know I am late, but... Ah, fuck. You're cutting it close. Next patient incoming in arterial spin still done. We need you at the front terminal. Um, alright. Uh, I'll do that. Yes, I, I am not being nervous or anything. Next patient, alright. Uh, what did you just tell me to do? Um, operate a computer. Yes, I can do that. It's, it's what I do. What the hell are you talking about? Reptile imagery. Child and sexual reptile. What? It says, let's note the child repeating the patterns. Thinking stress reactions going to get us more cytokines? I'm trying to think of anything. Like kids screwing now and here. What the fuck? I, uh, I've got no idea what the hell you guys are talking about. Sure, hold on. What are these spikes? Spikes. The categorical data. But what's hmm. the time code? Time code? Okay, we've got one at 13.21.05. Oh my. <laughs> They are talking about variants, aren't they? Yes. They are talking about variants. Uh, I don't know which variants, but maybe variants I know. Oh, I am wasting time. Uh, there it is. The morphogenic engine in all of its infamous glory. I witnessed its downfall, and now I am witnessing... <laughs> I am witnessing it... Well, going through with its unholy duties, in a manner of speaking. Ah, fuck's sake. They've got Gluskin out of his cell. Gluskin? Page him again. We need this park guy in here now. Um... Tell him he's got 15 seconds to keep his job. Oh, uh, Christ. Oh, dear. I'm here. Uh, turn around. Don't you see me? Wayland Park, um, you know, the guy you paged, he, um, uh, I, I am finally here. Gluskin. They managed to get Glaskin out of his cell. Who the hell is that supposed to be? Today's patient? Alright, oh, oh my god, 15 seconds, they are already over. I don't want to lose my job, not yet. Hello? Look at me. Yes, 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 it's me, Wayland Park, just gonna uh, take my seat. Uh, you're, you're not even gonna acknowledge that I'm here. Uh, do I carry such insignificance? Well, whatever. Uh, I don't want to do this. I don't want to assist Murkov. Oh, down there. There they are. The spheres. Oh, those monitors. The morphogenic engine program. Oh, fuck me. I am sorry, whoever you are, Glaskin. I am sorry, I don't want to do this, but I've got no choice. Park, uh. finally. Where have you been? Functional imaging in faces and talking to the ASL. We got a patient 30 seconds out and we're blind inside his head. I call into the chamber. Ask them to delay. No. I don't need another performance evaluation. Mr. Park here is gonna have us up and running before we even know it. Right, Mr. Park? Um, sure, sure. Just give me... Give me a minute. I can do this. Uh... uh what the hell is the problem now? Are we Air happy, code. Mr. Park? Uh, yes, yes, of course. Everything's uh, fine and please? dandy. FMRI is still dark. Uh, give me a minute. You're doubting our friend, Mr. Wayland Park? Uh which I consider more than unkind to his programming skill and considerable dedication to the Murkoff Corporation. What the hell? Fuck me, they're bringing him in. Oh, oh my god. That's him. The poor bastard. Uh, Glaskin, eh? Hmm, almost there. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Don't let them do this! Don't let them! You! I know you! Stop this! You have to help me! Um, you have Hey! To. Uh, calm yourself! Uh, this is a high security... It's all right, Agent. Mr. Park was just surprised. Yes, yes. I'm sure he's still calm and eager to finish his work. Take your seat. Of course, of course. I'll finish up the work. Quickly, Mr. Park. Uh, Head will need to roll if the fusion monitoring is not active when we put him in the engine. Five seconds. Four. Uh, three. I got this. I got this, there we go. Arterial spin labeling is back online. Good. Are you happy now? I'm sorry. 
You're finished, Mr. Wayland Park. You can leave. Don't expect anything but honesty in my review of your performance. Of course. Ah, uh, no objective. Retrieve your laptop from the server room. Uh, You're done here, Mr. Park. Thank you, and goodbye. Yes, yes, yes. Nothing but honesty. All right, I, I understand. I am I am no longer uh, needed. Eyes on the floor, one foot in front of the other until you're back in your hole. Fuck you too, asshole. You need to exit the room, sir. I am on my way. Jeez. What the hell? Don't ask. I am having a fucked day. <sighs> oh my god. That poor man. Glaskin, eh? I think I, I saw his name on the monitor. Eddie Glaskin or something. <sighs> yes. Suppose I did have the chance, the possibility to save him, but... But where would it have brought us? Nowhere. They would have caught him right away. And then... And then they, they would have gone after me. And I can't risk that, no. I am already putting more than enough on the line. I don't need to increase the risk. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. But something... Something doesn't feel right. I've got a bad feeling about this. The way he talked to me. The way all of them behaved. <sighs> Almost as if they... knew... that something is up. <sighs> Do they already know? No. No, 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 no. That's... That's not possible. They can't know. God, Lisa. What have I done? I need to get that fucking laptop. Uh, so, the experiment was a full success. Looks like we've got another candidate who will soon be turned. Yes, yes, yes. Soon he'll be turned into a bloodthirsty variant. Yeah, sure. Uh, a great thing. I I I'm happy that I was able to be a part of it all. Now then, they think I am returning to my office, but I am not returning to my office, I am getting that laptop. Oh Christ, which which of these rooms was it? I don't know. Uh, this one? This one? Uh, this one? The door is still standing open? Huh. Oh no. Oh, oh no. That security guard? Oh, don't tell me he found it. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, hello? Uh, someone in here? Uh, I, 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 I forgot something, something that's very important to me. Um, did somebody... Where the hell, where the hell did he go? Well, well, maybe, maybe he just left the sector. Yes, he, he left uh, Sector C and is now on his way to, I don't know, Sector or Block, Block B, Block A, I don't care. Just need to get that laptop and everything, everything will be fucking fine. Somebody's been <laughs> telling stories <laughs> outside of class. <laughs> on the ah! floor! Ah! Down! Oh no. Hydra, I can see him! No, no, no. <laughs> you can't do this! <laughs> uh, Mr. Uh, Raylan Park. Uh, Consulting contract 8208. <laughs> Software engineer with a level 3 security clearance. Graduated cum laude from Berkeley, but still somehow not smart enough to realize that the last thing a fly ought to do in a spider's web is wiggle. Damn it. Somehow dumb enough to think that a borrowed laptop, onion router, and firewall patch would be enough to fool the world's leading supplier of biometric security. Stupid, Mr. Park. More than stupid, in fact, that was crazy. But I... I'm afraid we're going to have to have you committed. What? Mr. Park, will you willingly submit to forced confinement? What? Never. Did you hear that, Agent? Uh, he said yes, Mr. Blair. No. Great. You... Oh, and uh, 
Did I just hear Mr. Wayland Park volunteer for the morphogenic engine program? No. That's what I heard, Mr. Blair. No. That was brave indeed, Wayland. <sighs> the Murkoff Corporation and the Onward March of Science both appreciate your bravery and sacrifice. You bastards. Maybe you could administer Mr. Park here a light anesthetic. The truth will be exposed. <laughs> 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 